Hello everyone, I'm back again. It's been a while since I last made a video. This is Designated Driver. So what's been going on? It's been, I don't know, probably about three months since I last made a video and uh, an awful lot has gone on far too much to put in a in a single video I want to talk about antidepressants something that uh, for those of you that have been watching my videos will know that from the get-go I was never ever going to take those things uh, this was something I was going to do alone um, you know the, the 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 stopping drinking had cured everything and uh, everything was gonna be roses. Well, it wasn't. Uh, as I explained in one of my earlier videos, uh, my head just went bang. And uh, yeah, had to seek some professional help and get some medication. Well, that's worked out quite well. So what's gone on since I stopped drinking is actually worse than it was before, if that makes any sense. Because um, before I stopped drinking, I had no work. I still have no work and it's June <laughs> I haven't had any work since September so uh, that's not better that's not better um, I lost my grandmother um, a month or two ago and uh, yeah that's as you can imagine that's terrible uh, my son had COVID and uh, we were in quarantine for two weeks just praying that we didn't get it that was a struggle that was uh, that was testing the, the, the tablets that I'm on, um, these antidepressants, that was pushing them to their absolute limit. Being stuck in uh, an apartment with no uh, garden, no balcony for two weeks with a 10 year old, bouncing around as normal, but carrying COVID with a three year old as well, who's, uh, who's a little lunatic like his father. Um, and uh, you know, in my family life, without going too much into it, you know, I have two parents that are not doing well and not being able to get home because of everything that's in place at the moment. So, you know, nothing, nothing is actually better than it was in December last year. If anything, it's worse. It's even worth mentioning that in the last couple of months, it's looked very likely that even our dog would leave us. She's also in a, a, a bad way. She's getting a bit better now, thank God. But no, nothing, nothing's better uh, than it was last December before I started drinking. Um, so uh, it has to be said that these tablets that I'm taking are helping a great deal, a great deal. I know how I react to things or how I have reacted to things my entire life and, and how that voice that I talked about wells in my head and stews and um, you know just it just ruins everything there's there's no way of ever controlling the emotions behind all of those things that I've talked to you about this or I've just mentioned there's just no way of me handling that amount of stuff and still staying on top so I can only really credit that to the medication I'm on who knows, there could be a placebo effect going on there, you know, because I want this. Um, I've wanted this for six months now. Actually, yesterday, uh, I celebrated six months sober. So, um, I'm really, really chuffed about that. Really, really chuffed. And uh, again, they don't always... They don't always work, you know, there's still the odd day. I actually had a few days strung together. It's usually just one day. I have to get through that day and just know, and just know that uh, the next day is going to be better. I'm not gonna change all of this in six months. You know, I sometimes forget that it is only six months and it's only three or four months since I sought out uh, some professional help and medication. So. We're still in the very, very early days, very early days, and I feel like I've gone such a long way, but, you know, the, the future anxiety, you know, what am I gonna do now for the rest of my life? Uh, I'm in so much more of a better place than I ever was in the past. And in terms of uh, work and opportunities, 
something's always come my way I'm sure it will again you know I'm thinking about the future I'm thinking about the future long term and I haven't done that for a long time I have promised those few people that are watching the videos um, that I would divulge exactly what it is that switched me off last uh, last December so quickly and I will do that I've already tried to do it once about a month or two ago but it was it was too difficult for me to record that video so um, yeah we'll see how we get on I might even do it today I'm out and about today I'm going out on my boat <laughs> see I bought a boat a blow up boat and uh, yeah I like floating about on it I haven't got any work to do I've got enough money to put diesel in my car now because I'm not spending three or four hundred euros a month on booze and I've lost 13 kilos so um, there's a lot of positives out there and uh, yeah just thought I'd check in with you guys because I hadn't done a video for such a long time and uh, I'm gonna switch you off now and enjoy this next little bit of road something that I found a few weeks ago with a friend not far out of Vienna absolutely stunning little bit of road only a few miles long but absolutely wonderful just a, a, a nice drive and uh, driving is still uh, it's still a place I, I, I like to be in, in a car driving so that's designated driver out for this video uh, thanks for watching stay tuned like share subscribe all that old cobblers and uh, yeah see you again soon ciao for now check it out